Yes. <laughs> Redo it. Mmm, so refreshing. What's, What's going, going on, TBF? As you can see, I just made myself a smoothie, or should I say, summer just made me a very smoothie. Anyways, as you guys can tell, we are back from Queensland. So our Queensland footage was kind of everywhere and yeah. didn't really make much of a video. So today last we few did days anyway. no sense. Mm. Yeah, no yes. sense. Everywhere. We so, were so busy on the tournament day and movie world day. Mm. They were just so busy going up on the rides and tournament day. We were just scattered and all over the place that we didn't really get to record. Like yeah. proper footage. Yeah. So today we are planning to make a Mukbang video, mukbang, 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 what? Mukbang video. <laughs> We're gonna make steamboat hot pot, and mm. it's it's the best. Trust me, guys. And we are going to fill you in on the last couple of days that we were in Queensland, Gold Coast. So yeah, but. As Phoenix said, we're gonna we're having steamboat. I haven't made steamboat like in forever. Mm, I forgot. We're still not gonna have made in for. Oh, I know because Helen oh. Summer in the car. I was like, hey mom, can I make it? Well, you are. I'm making it. Yep. And I said to Summer, do the work. Good thing that you asked me because you are a girl. You do need to know how to cook and. Yeah. What better time to teach her than now. So she, I'm actually gonna teach her how to make hot pot tonight. And Candy's at training at the moment, so someone's going to do all the prep um, for the hot pot. And when Candy gets back, you know, we're going to hopefully the food will be ready by then and we'll, we're going to eat. All right, guys, so as you heard, I am making hot pot. And hot pot is a soup based dish. So the first thing I have to do is make the pot. So now I'm going to be adding a full garlic and a full onion. Now usually I would grill them before I stick them into the broth, but I'm on a time limit today, so they're going in whole. With my hand. Now I'm going to be adding a few spices and I'm just going to let it boil. So now I'm going to be adding a whole punnet of cherry tomatoes. But if you would like to, you can just use normal tomatoes, but this just helps give the broth a sour taste. So now I'm going to be boiling our vermicelli noodles. So with our pot pot, we always eat the vermicelli noodles. So once I cook it, I'm just gonna let it aside and wait for it till we eat. So the way you eat hot pot is you pretty much, you have a bowl, a pot obviously, of boiling water and a bunch of sides consisting of your choices of meats, seafood and vegetables. So tonight our hot pot is gonna have prawn, bean curd puffs, Tofu fish cake. <laughs> Crab nuggets. And fish balls. And prawn balls. Prawn balls. Okay. <sighs> Alright guys. So now that I've finished preparing my seafood, as you can see, I want to start and get to my vegetables. So what I've got here is our Chinese cabbage, which is Freaking heavy, the baby. We've got our anoki mushrooms, our bok choy, Chinese spinach, and of course, the notorious quail eggs. Moments later. Alright, guys, so we're finally done cooking. Compliments of our master chef. Good job, Candy. Summer. And I just got back home from picking up candy from training. Ugh, I'm all like sweaty and disgusting, but oh well. Got her butt kicked in kickboxing tonight. <laughs> But we are finally ready to eat. Wait, Phoenix, you want to give me the montage music? Yeah, okay. there you go. There you go. Do 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 this is a really um, social way of eating because it's really interactive. You gotta cook your own food. Everything's raw and you cook it and you eat as you go. So it's a fun way of eating, something different and fresh as well. You get to eat it fresh. Mm, so good. Just a little so candy. Good. Yes, please. Hold as on. we said earlier, we thought that while we're having our steamboat, we would take this opportunity to fill you guys in and catch you up on what happens in Queensland um, for day four and day five. 
on day four, while we were up on the Gold Coast, that was pretty much a uh, fight day for us. That was the tournament day. That was the whole reason that we went to the Gold Coast in the first place. Yeah. Um, we attended the Budo... Wait, what's the the Gold called? Coast Budo um, Challenge. What she said. Challenge. Yeah, the Gold Coast Budo Challenge. Yeah, so at this particular tournament, they only had two events there. So they only had the Carter and and um, with it. and with full contact fights. So Summer, Summer and Phoenix both competed in the Carter and um, Phoenix competed in the full contact fights. Okay, so I got second, but like the, the like system is very confusing. So basically, um, the Carter is usually um, scored by a point system. So there's usually three judges and each judge will hold up a card with what they scored um, each person's card out of 10. And whoever whoever has the highest score wins the card. But this one was done slightly different. It was done almost like the round robin uh, full contact fight. So two people would go up at a time and um, there were three refs again. And instead of giving them points, they just decided, the three refs would decide who won out of the two. And then whoever won would go on and then compete again and then go on and compete again. So it was slightly different. So instead of just doing the kata once, which is what they usually do in a kata uh, tournament, so in the kata event, fun. they ended up doing it about five or six times each. Sometimes, yeah. some of them even more. Like so seven. in Phoenix's division, he placed second. So well done, Phoenix. Really proud of you. Oh no, good job, good job. So in kata, unfortunately, I did not place, but I have. I had to do my kata three times, I think. I, I didn't think I came last because I did win two of them. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but I lost it. Congratulations, boo. Good job, boo. Good job. boo. Boo. So at the end of the kata events, when they were handing out all the medals, um, we already knew that Phoenix came second. They, they announced that, like, yeah, like Phoenix, but you wrong, second. For but... the world and unders, the big winner, it was. For Pain and Unders Yeah. Anyway, yeah. They they already said yep, yep, Beans got second place. So mm -hmm. when when his division was going up to get their medals, we were like waiting for Beans to get his medal. And then they called up some other kid and we're just like, what the hell? Like Beans got second, not that kid. So our Shehan, Shehan Maria, um, she she went up to those the people who were handing out the awards and were like, ah, uh, and she was like uh, what's going on here? Like, this is not right. <laughs> Pretty much. And um, she picked up on it straight away. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, and if it wasn't for her, like, we, like, we picked up on it too, but we were just like, oh, like, whatever. Like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really, like, I wasn't really faced with me. Did you really care? Yeah, no. Yeah. I think but, we kind of felt bad because they already gave the second place medal to another girl. And so, yeah, no, at that point, even though we knew Phoenix got second, we weren't two phase that he didn't get his medal because we kind of felt bad for taking it off her like giving her the medal and then be like no nah, this is not sorry <laughs> yeah sorry it's not yours and taking it back and giving it to phoenix so we're just like yeah whatever just let her have it but our shihan was like no that's not right so she went up to the well, guy it's true yeah i mean it's not right it's not our fault but like um so she, yeah so she fixed it all up and the phoenix did end up getting his second place medal thank you Ladies and gentlemen, 11 to 15 novice Carter winners. Anyway, so after the Carter, after the Carter, they finally got onto the full contact fights, and I was I nervous was as hell, hell, man, because all the kids were like bigger than way you. bigger than them, like was like. But like coolness and heaviness. Yeah, so, but that's um, not hard because like Phoenix, as you can see, he's so skinny that I think it's just going to be a disadvantage that we're always going to have to deal with um, when it comes to him and all my fights. Yeah, with full contact fights because he's like on, you know, he's so skinny on the lighter end for his age. He's always going to be up against competitors that are like bigger than him, heavier than him. And uh, but most tournaments, he only usually just does one fight. He just has one full contact fight. But this was around Robert, and so if you win, you go on to the next round. Then if you win, you go on and on and so forth. Phoenix can tell you what happens in his first full contact fight. Alright, straight up we got back. <laughs> no, your first one didn't you bash the kid? No. No. He got oh, when you watch the stage fight. But one thing is, in all of my full contact tournaments, I never even drink it. And this one, 
he forced me to eat and guess what happened i vomited like i was like nervous but definitely not as nervous as my mom because she's just I'm bad. Oh, oh my god oh my god i'm bad yeah she's really bad at tournaments the first round to be honest in the first round um personally i think i was getting pretty bashed but apparently to the judges it was a draw and to be honest i was dead by the first min one minute it was just so tough like getting bashed by were you hurt no no but like getting like pushed around the whole fight like it was tiring yeah yeah and then we went into a draw and then after the fight for another minute he kept winding me and then i vomited but into my hands like my yeah, my hands, and then I kept fighting, and then it was so sticky and slobbery. It was oh, like, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there were like blobs of like strawberry everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know, then, like, the, you know, no one knew that he threw up until he told us after the fight. And all I can say is, is like when I watched him fight, the one thing I can honestly say about Phoenix's fight is that. As hard as it was to watch that, because he did take a bit of a bashing, and so as hard as it was to really watch that fight, all I can say is that like, I'm so proud of him because he didn't give up. Like a lot of kids, when you see them at tournaments, and they get hurt, like they get hurt once or twice, they stop the fight themselves. Yeah, yeah, but and they start crying. But the thing was, I didn't get hurt. Mm. You know, but he kept going, like he just kept going and going and going and then I think, you know, like this is where I say to him, you know, his training really comes into, like his training really shows in fights like these. Like, even when he threw up, most kids at that point would have been, oh, no, nah, it's over, I threw up. He didn't let anyone know he threw up, he just caught it in his hand, closed his mitts, his mitts absorbed it. It was so gross, guys. And he literally yeah. just kept fighting. <laughs> yep, and I, yep, and um, I didn't exactly clean through the whole day, so I... <laughs> you still have a cleaner. Yeah, I have. I have okay, yeah. then go on. Yeah, but I was fighting during the whole day with like, soggy mitts. I know. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. It's so... You should have told one of us, I would have gone and cleaned it if I knew. I know, he didn't tell us till right before yeah. his final, like the, the last fight. Yeah. So Fiza's second and third fights was just like, he absolutely just smashed it. Light work. It was, yeah, light work pretty much. He absolutely smashed it. It didn't even last the full round. Um, he ended up making the two kids cry. So good on you buddy, that was really good. <laughs> awesome comeback. Yeah, awesome comeback. Like, I think it was just... I think after losing his first fight, he had like all that motivation and everything to win like the, his next two fights. So he ends up winning his next two fights and moving on to the finals. But um, in between winning his fights and, and the finals, it was like a one and a half hour break. So so all of his like injuries that he got during his full contact fights and all the adrenaline, like the adrenaline started leaving and then the, adri um, the injuries started like coming through. Yeah, and it was like, oh, it hurts. Yeah, and it was like, it was late. Like he, we had been there since eight o'clock in the morning and yeah. and it was coming close to being like 10 hours of this tournament. Yeah. And um, so he was just like tired, he was over it. So when he got to the first, so when he got to the finals fight, he he did really good, like he gave it his all, but unfortunately he ended up losing that fight. Yeah, he pushing me around. Yeah, the kid was like, oh, obviously all the kids are really big, but um, but he did really good. He still came second. But yeah, Ben, I did do the whole fight. So. And as always, we always catch everything for you guys and take you guys along with us. So we're gonna roll a little clip of the fights. Go, Phoenix! You got this. Hard, Phoenix, hard. Yes, Phoenix. Do you know what annual means? Shut up. 
Yeah, it's like tradition for our dojo. After every tournament, like no matter how big or small we go, to have dinner together after the tournament. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Because it's a family thing, you know? Yeah. You know what a family <laughs> Sadly, the next day we have to wake up super early once again yeah. to pack and check out the hotel. <laughs> and of course, go to Movie World! Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Everyone from the club decided that the last day being in Queensland, the tournament's over, we trick the kids and just make it a day of having fun um, where they could just unwind, get together and just have a blast. So we all decided that the last day at the Gold Coast we'd spend at Movie World. Movie World! Yeah. It's my favourite world out of all the world. So Love because we me. were at Movie World and because like Candy and Summer are massive, massive thrill seekers, not me. Um, we didn't get a lot of vlogging done. We Quite a little bit of footage here and there, but not a whole heap of vlogging done. They were because they were too the busy on the, all the rides and lining up for all the rides. Yeah. So, <laughs> and obviously, we can't take our camera on the rides. Welcome, guys. We BMF Pizza Bar. Good morning. Hey. hey. We just got to Movie World. Yeah, nah, nah. Sorry, girls, not happening. Are you really gonna go on that thing? The FAFC crew riding is lining up to go on it. I think they're crazy. They all crazy. 